Thank you, Dr. Namrata, and thank you for the opportunity to share the technical journey of the Active Century, uh, which has been our next uh, enhancement on the Centurion Vision System. Um, I just wanted to start off with a, a, a brief perspective of the FACO Fluidix uh, function. Uh, in, improvements in the Fluidix uh, uh, performance has been a key uh, uh, a differentiator between successive generations of the FACO equipment. Uh, we understand that it serves the two primary functions. One is to maintain stable workspace uh, for the surgeon within the eye and also to efficiently aid in the breakup and removal of the lens material. So with this new technology, the idea behind it is to improve the safety consistency and control during the surgery relative to the previous state-of-the-art uh, Centurion and Infinity. Uh, with this uh, new active Sentry platform innovation, uh, we wanted to provide uh, three key features. One is the re reduction of the surge, the uh, second one is the automated IOP compensation for average incision leakage. And third is the automated uh, patient eye level, in essence, providing us unprecedented improvement in the uh, surge perfor performance and also consistency. Um, it's a platform innovation where it touches different parts of the cataract uh, uh, suite. Uh, it's a minor update to the Centurion vision system. Uh, it has a new software update that allows us to provide better control. Uh, it also changes a little bit in the consumable with a quick valve technology. And then finally, uh, all, a new handpiece, uh, which is the first and only handpiece with the integrated pressure sensor uh, that allows us to get real-time information from the uh, surgical side. Um, just to kind of get into the technical journey a little bit uh, within the active sentry handpiece, uh, there's a pressure sensor that has been integrated into the handpiece as shown here. Uh, it is such that it is able to get real-time information without impacting the efficiency of the surgery uh, with its ultrasonics. Uh, this handpiece also has a improved lumen design uh, for better priming to give us uh, the case-to-case uh, -case, uh, consistency. As uh, shown there on the benchtop data, it improves the surge performance, especially when you go to lower IOP and higher vacuum. Uh, as uh, ergonomics was kept in mind when this particular new handpiece was designed, um, as you can see that the, from prior generations of handheld devices, comparatively, it's uh, identically the same, but also visually, there were some differences made to allow the users to be able to uh, choose this particular handpiece very easily during the uh, workflow. Uh, going into a little bit more detail about the consumable, uh, the quick valve technology, uh, as you can see uh, highlighted in the red area, the amount of uh, venting is improved for a given opening, uh, giving us the un uh, improvement in the amount of time to vent. And also this allows us to be able to tune the system or to uh, uh, get us the case-to-case -case consistency that we would like. Um, the uh, current Centurion system, which is our platform innovation as well, uh, the, we do have what we call the active irrigation where it compensates for the flow losses, therefore giving us uh, a stable IOP. It uses the sensor in the console to be able to uh, provide that. Uh, but it requires to enter the patient eye level compared to the position of the sensor on the console. Uh, we also have improved the surge mitigation, but it is in passive means uh, with the help of the FMS. In the new active sentry, for the active irrigation, uh, it utilizes the sensor in the handpiece uh, because we're able to get gather more real-time information and much faster, we're able to provide much improved IOP control. It does not require the uh, PEL entry with the user because the sensor is in the handpiece and the handpiece goes with the surgeon's hand in terms of where the patient is. Therefore, giving us a much better consistency in control uh, due to this real-time information from surgical side. Additionally, it provides automated IOP compensation for average incision leakage. In essence, the system with the help of the active irrigation and the pressure sensor is able to calculate the amount of average incision that we would have 
uh, uh, during the surgery and it compensates for it. Uh, currently, the surgeons either increase their IOP to about, uh, uh, compensate for it or have to enter the manual incision leakage, which we understand is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but now with this system, you're able uh, the system automatically be able to compensate for it. Variables include primary incision size and constriction, tip and sleeve selection, distortion during the surgery, and the leakage through a second port incision. So all of these are able to be detected by the system and compensate for it, therefore giving us a much better stable IOP. The amount of leakage is comp uh, capped at 20 cc's per minute in terms of the compensation uh, because we want to ensure uh, that we are able to give a much stable IOP. Uh, the second, uh, third feature is uh, the active surge mitigation. So far with the Centurion Vision system, we have actively compensated for the flow losses compared to the gravity. Therefore, we're changing the source pressure to maintain the IOP set point. The intent of this system is to now actively mitigate the surge uh, by actively managing on the aspiration side. What this active surge mitigation does is that with the help of the sensor in the handpiece, it recognizes the surge event about to happen. At the onset of the surge, before it happens, the system partially vents the line with the help of the quick valve technology, reducing the vacuum demand, thereby reducing the amount of flow that is required from the eye, hence reducing the amount of surge. The system is optimized such that the whole process is impervious to the user. It is optimized across the board for all our surgical conditions, such that we're uh, mitigating the surge without affecting the holding power, thereby without affecting the existing efficiency, uh, efficiency that we have uh, for your uh, ultrasonics. Uh, it is also uh, tuned for every surgery at the beginning to ensure we have the case-to-case -case consistency. All of this is achieved with the help of the quick valve technology that allows us, gives us the ability to fine tune for the consistency. It also reduces the amount of uh, time it takes to vent the line. In essence, even though we have a fast uh, uh, event occurring for the surge, it allows us to be able to uh, mitigate it. This active surge mitigation is always available in every step of the procedure, and it is there and only gets activated if it is uh, needed. Uh, when it is not needed, it is still maintaining the system to ensure uh, the case-to-case -case, uh, consistency. Uh, just to kind of uh, showcase uh, all the features that we have, uh, a small video has been created uh, to uh, kind of explain the features in summary. The Centurion Vision System has redefined phaco emulsification performance, making every moment of cataract removal better. With the introduction of the Active Sentry handpiece, Alcon is introducing a new standard of safety to your operating room. Its innovative design is the first of its kind to move the fluidics pressure sensor from the console to the handpiece, delivering unprecedented responsiveness consistent IOP, which you select, and increase safety in every moment. The active sentry handpiece reacts in real time to changes in the anterior chamber, communicating with upgraded Centurion Vision System hardware and software to quickly mitigate occlusion brake surge. The system detects occlusion and signals for a pressure adjustment to the BSS bag. When occlusion brake occurs, Quick Valve technology releases fluid into the aspiration line, actively reducing surge and dynamically maintaining target IOP. The pressure sensor's advantageous placement in the active sentry handpiece also allows for quick detection and compensation for incision leakage. A signal from the compression plate prompts the Centurion Vision System software to adjust pressure to account for leaks and properly maintain target IOP. The active sentry handpiece automatically detects patient eye level relative to the Centurion Vision System's fluidics management system during FACO. The pressure sensor in the handpiece drives active irrigation, making automatic adjustments to maintain target pressure at any eye level, helping make cases more consistent. Alcon is committed to helping you advance cataract procedures and outcomes through partnerships and innovation. 
That's why we've engineered a handpiece designed for dynamic responsiveness and increased stability across procedures. The Centurion Vision System with Active Sentry Handpiece is designed to set a new standard of safety for every FACO procedure. A few other things with this new Active Sentry system and its seamless integration with the existing Centurion Vision system. Uh, we understand that the, there could be a combination of uh, hand pieces. So the console recognizes the Active Sentry hand piece when it is plugged in and automatically loads the surgical operation uh, setting. So we don't have to worry about having to change between the uh, settings for the hand pieces. Additionally, the, uh, in the metrics, a new parameter called act, act, uh, active surge mitigation actuations have been added. At the end of the case, uh, the user is able to evaluate how many times that the system has uh, kicked in to be able to help with the surge mitigation. Uh, just to kind of go over a little bit of the bench data when it comes to the surge performance across the different uh, 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 systems going from Infinity, Centurion, and Centurion Active Sentry. Uh, three key things. One is this active surge mitigation, now where we're able to actively mitigate the surge, allows us to the, improve the performance. The performance improvement is not only in the reduction of the value of surge, but also in the reduction in time of surge. So in essence, in terms of how long you're in the danger area is greatly reduced. Additionally, as you can see with the uh, surface plot that we have provided between case to case, there is a much improved uh, case to case consistency as well. Therefore, leading us to improved safety at all procedures. Uh, finally, another different way of looking at the search performance is if I were to draw a line where uh, the surge is uh, very low and uh, uh, acceptable. Uh, if you compare at infinity versus the Centurion versus uh, Active Sentry, uh, the vacuum of 300, the level of surge we had with infinity was about what you would have seen at about 400 for Centurion, but now at 600 for Active Sentry. In essence, you're able to increase the vacuum to improve the efficiency without loss of performance in the surge. Um, thank you for uh, your attention.